Portis BC has proposed to the uh, British Columbia Utilities Commission that every newly constructed home in the province should be connected to the gas system and automatically receive 100% renewable gas or biomethane for the lifespan of the building. So I'm going to talk to Jason Wolf, who's the Director of Energy Solutions at Fortis BC about that proposal. So welcome to the interview, Jason. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me here. Happy to have you. Now, let's start out with biomethane. What is that? Biomethane. Biomethane is methane collected from natural sources. So from wastewater treatment plants, from farm waste, from green waste, your green bin goes and, and then that matter decomposes. And what we do is we collect the methane, biomethane, we clean it up and we put it into the natural gas system. Does biomethane have any emissions that we should be worried about? Biomethane naturally occurs, but if it's not captured, then it would just vent to the atmosphere. And so what we are doing then is we are capturing it and putting it into our system and therefore it displaces conventional natural gas. So it is not 100%, uh, I wanna say emissions free. Is that the right way to think about this? It, it is nearly carbon free, carbon neutral. When you do that, you have the fancy accounting and figure that all out. It's, it's got a slight small amount of uh, carbon in it once burned, but it is considered nearly carbon neutral. Can Fortis BC get enough supply of biomethane within the province? We believe we can get enough supply both for, for this program and as we try to meet the BC roadmap, uh, the Clean BC roadmap, get enough renewable gas where we will by 2050 have the majority of our gas being renewable. Oh, well, that, that's interesting. So we're talking about not just the lower mainland, not just the, the major cities, but most of your uh, natural gas system throughout the province. Yeah, our, we have a target for 2030 of a 15% reduction and we think 15% uh, renewable gas, 30% uh, reduction in emissions. And we believe we're gonna exceed that. And we will continue towards 2050 where renewable will be the dominant source of the energy in the system. Now, biomethane comes from farms, landfills, green energy companies, uh, other suppliers like the city of Vancouver. So I can see where there might be enough to get you to 15% uh, by 2030. What in, within that, within your supply has to expand so that you can get to almost 100% by 2050? We're looking at all sources of uh, renewable energy, uh, renewable energy that can go in the gas system. Plus, we're acquiring it outside of the province as well. We do have contracts in Alberta and Ontario right now for biomethane, renewable natural gas. But we are working hard on things like hydrogen and how do we bring hydrogen into the system, put that in our pipes or have it for our industrial customers. So that'll form part of that overall percentage of renewable energy going forward as well. So are we talking about a mixture of biomethane, uh, uh, fossil fuel derived natural gas and hydrogen down the road, uh, all of it evolving over time to get to this 100% or close to 100%, you know, low carbon fuel by 2050? That's exactly what we're, we're looking at, both in the pipe and then in some cases, like with industrial customers, we may be able to have hydrogen produced next to that industrial site and just go straight into that industrial customer. So in that particular case, are we talking about steam reform methane, uh, methane steam reforming to make uh, natural gas, uh, make blue hydrogen, or are we talking about green hydrogen? What, what are Fortis's plans there? Uh, primarily green. It's getting a little beyond my knowledge base here with the, the hydrogen. We have that whole team. I think you talked to Scott Graham and, and he knows a lot about that, but we are looking at the low carbon sources of hydrogen as well to, to go into the system. Gotcha. Um, when will this, uh, now the process here, I assume, is it comes before the Utilities Commission and then it has to get approved, assuming that it gets approved. Uh, when are you looking at a rollout? Very hopeful that it get, gets approved. I certainly think it's a great, uh, great solution. Uh, we're hoping for a decision by the Commission later this year so that we can implement at the beginning of 2023. Terrific. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate uh, your insights, Jason. Thank you very much. Great to be here.